Today we have a compact sedan that provides a good value, great efficiency, and more space than you would expect. This is the Hyundai Elantra Limited, and not much has changed here, but there are some tweaks on the inside, and today we're gonna take a look at the exterior details, the interior details, and get it out on the road for a test drive, and you can see if this Elantra is a good compact car for you. All right, y'all, let's take a look at the exterior details real quick of this 2023 Elantra. So on the outside, not much changes overall. You still get the same SE, SEL, and Limited trims, and this one is the top and Limited model. So right up front, you're gonna get this cascading grille from Hyundai. This is pretty typical. That big rectangular shape at the bottom is the sensor because you've got the driver assist features here, like the radar cruise control, automatic braking, things like that. You're gonna get LED daytime running light standard here, and this limited model is gonna give us LED headlights as well. This one is in the scarlet red pearl paint, and it's gonna come with 17 inch wheels. It can go all the way down to 15 inch wheels depending on the trim. I'm honestly glad we don't have huge wheels on here because that can contribute to a bumpy ride, so this should be nice. Even on a compact car here, we still get a turn signal in the mirror as well, and you also get blind spot indicators too. Dimensionally, this Elantra is 184 inches long, so it is still in the compact class, but it is a little bit on the big side for a compact vehicle, closing in on more of a midsize type category, but it's still compact enough to maneuver around easily and very still and still somewhat spacious on the inside too. On this limited trim and optional on the SEL, we get these LED taillights. They look pretty unique, still an incandescent turn signal, but this LED light bar running across is an interesting statement, especially in a compact car. What do you think of it? One feature that has always surprised me with Hyundai is the fact that they give the Elantra, a compact car, a hands-free trunk. This is actually a really nice feature. You can turn it off or on, but all you gotta do is stand here. If you got your hands full of stuff, carrying groceries or whatever, you don't have to fiddle with your key fob, push a button, kick your foot or anything. You just stand here for a few seconds. It'll beep, and then it opens up just like that. You can still open it with your key fob or inside or push a button right here too. Now taking a closer look at the trunk, you're gonna get just over 14 cubic feet, which is good size. I mean, this is definitely more than I would have expected for a compact car. This trunk is fairly wide, it's fairly tall. You've got a good size opening right here and you can fold the seats down as well. The one thing I'd like to see though are maybe a couple of little hooks or grocery bag things or tie downs, but you don't get much of that. Underneath it here, you will get a spare tire standard and even a little extra space around it if you wanna throw jumper cables or something. Now Hyundai is gonna give us the smart key right here. It's gonna have remote start on it as well. And you can open your trunk on here. It's a fairly slim key fob. It feels somewhat solid and well put together. So the way this works, it's just on the front doors for the touch sensors. You've got a little dimple right here. You can push that. The mirror's gonna flash. That means it's locked. Or you can use the sensor in the back to unlock it just like that. You can also use your phone as a key for a digital key. They have that availability as well. And we've got leather wrapped seats here on this limited model. These look pretty nice. They're even perforated. Even though these are not ventilated, they are heated. You've got some pretty good bolstering on the side. They look nice. They feel pretty good. You've got two-way lumbar support, height and tilt adjustment, and your basic recline function. The steering wheel is also leather wrapped. It feels pretty nice. And you've got a manual tilt and telescoping option right here with a pretty good range of motion. The steering wheel is leather wrapped on here as well. You've got a manual tilt and telescoping option. It's got a pretty good range of motion as well. You'll find your heated seat button right there and you'll notice no ventilated seat, kind of surprising on this top limited trim, but the hybrid model gets ventilated seats. So if you want ventilation, you'll have to move up to the hybrid. We also don't have memory settings in here. Not really expecting those kinds of things in a compact car that don't, it's not super common, but considering it's the top trim and 27 grand, maybe it could be here. Otherwise, I've been comfortable in these seats. I've driven the Elantra a couple of different times and over the course of a week or so, I haven't had any complaints really. I've been comfortable for the most part. Now climbing into the second row, it's gonna be more spacious than what you would expect back here. But first of all, over on the door, pretty common for a compact car is that you're gonna have a hard plastic right here instead of a soft armrest. This is probably a good thing having kids. Same thing with this. There's no padding or anything like that. And there's just a little bottle holder down there. Now sitting behind myself, I am five foot nine. That's where I like to sit comfortably. I have the seat pretty low and I don't have a ton of foot space, but there's a good amount of clearance for my knees. 
middle passengers will have to deal with a hump in the middle and there's just one seat back pocket in here if you're looking for ac vents or plug-ins you're gonna have to rely on what's up front right here there's a center folding armrest this is padded and you've got two cup holders what about headroom well my hair is kind of poofy right now and i can feel it touching the headliner my actual head just kind of barely touches it and again i'm five foot nine so keep that in mind if you sit with bad posture you're probably okay but anybody shorter than me is probably good back here all right y'all taking a look at the interior we got push button start let's go ahead and start it up and a couple new things so first of all the limited trim could get these two ten and a quarter inch screens but now you can get these on the sel convenience and the end line both of these screens so that is nice over on the door you get hard plastic up there which is kind of surprising for a top trim but then a softer material right here and a somewhat padded armrest little good grab handle big enough to like put a phone or a wallet or even stash something in there but this bottle holder is pretty much worthless unless you got one of those skinny little plastic bottles a couple controls over here like your interior lights and your lane keeping steering wheel controls are very easy to use you can control your cruise control your audio controls your center display right there and the center display has a few different looks that you can do for it now the standard cluster is this and i do not like this at all i don't like these giant white balls just kind of sitting there but if you change your drive mode you can have it move with your drive mode so depending on what you want you can change it i had it on a different theme before that you saw let me go back to that just like this you can control that in your center display and in the middle you can change the information that you see so the outside stay pretty much the same otherwise you can see driver assist features or scroll through a trip computer and stuff like that and i've been able to get pretty good miles per gallon in the elantra for the most part overhead the elantra has a kind of a unique texture on the dash a semi-soft material and this is a 10 and a quarter inch screen right here as well like i said this is now standard on the sel convenience and the end line we get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on here as well. This is standard, but if you get this big screen, you have to be plugged in. You cannot use your wireless charger and do wireless Apple CarPlay at the same time. You can, however, get wireless Apple CarPlay on the lower trim levels with the smaller eight inch screen. So keep that in mind. It's kind of annoying. Hyundai prefers their system instead of letting us use wireless Apple or Android, but I like the way that their infotainment is laid out. There's a good amount of information and things that you can customize and see on here. You also have some shortcuts down there. You got a volume knob, a seeking button, a favorite button you can customize, or your setup button and quick buttons to get to things down there as well. You got dual zone climate control in here too, which is always nice. You and your passenger can control your own. You can manually control it there. Your heated seats, more AC controls down there. There is a wireless charger in here, which is still nice, but remember no wireless Apple CarPlay. A couple of USB ports and a 12 volt power outlet. And then let's shift into reverse and see what we look like right here. So you don't have a top down camera or anything like that, but you have movable lines for your backup camera. And one more thing about this, um, about this screen or this infotainment is that we have an eight speaker Bose system on here coming back here we've got our drive mode button up there you've got this camera which you would think would just show up like a 360 camera but it's just your basic backup camera we've got an electronic parking brake back here and an automatic brake hold button then you've got a good amount of piano black but it doesn't bother me too much being back here i think it's better than just being all up there these cup holders are actually really cool so you've got good space in both of them but check this out there's even a little party trick they're pretty deep right now you can pull this out flip it around push her down and now it's stuck right there so now you've got tall cup holders so if you've got short drinks you can accommodate those if you've got tall drinks you can accommodate those too right here in the middle somewhat padded armrest it doesn't move forward but you've got a little space on the inside for this console. Club box over here, it does not lock, it doesn't softly open and it's plastic, just exactly what I would expect for a compact car. Overhead, we've got an automatic dimming rear view mirror and right here, you've got controls to open up your sunroof, no panoramic roof in this particular model, and then our lighting right up there. 
no LED lights. The visor here will slide the entire visor just like that. All right, y'all, we're now behind the wheel of this Elantra. And as far as compact cars go, this is a nice driving car. Cars have come a long ways. One difference though, is that this is the regular gas model. There is also a hybrid model of the Elantra and the hybrid is gonna have a better suspension setup and you can get the ventilated seats. So uh, something to keep in mind, it's gonna have an independent suspension, whereas this one does not, it's got a torsion beam. So probably a little better handling, a little better ride in the hybrid, but I don't have experience in that yet. So just keep that in mind. That might be something important to you and better fuel efficiency, of course, as well. Now, powertrain here, we've got a two liter four cylinder engine with a continuous variable transmission. They call it their intelligent variable transmission, but it's not the most powerful. 147 horsepower, definitely not as much as it could be or some competitors but you'll find that it actually does okay it's not terribly lacking or anything it does okay miles per gallon is good though up to 41 miles per gallon and that's definitely the focus with these compact cars so keep that in mind also the hybrid can give you 54 miles per gallon combined so that's a big step up and this road is kind of a louder road so you can hear some road noise this isn't too bad though it's a right on par for an economy car a compact car and definitely better than what some of the older cars used to be um, this is probably going to be the loudest kind of road you'll be on but you can keep conversations in here for the most part the way the steering feels is pretty good as well it's not super lightweight but it's also not heavy so something to keep in mind and ride comfort i'd say ride comfort is good hyundai improved the ride comfort actually a little bit with um with the redesign not too long ago so a couple years ago and it does good i mean i you can hit some bumps you can go over uneven terrain and it does okay the handling isn't too bad either it's just a it's a well packaged well-rounded vehicle overall i mean efficient fairly comfortable decent enough power let's go ahead and get on it we're just in smart mode here we go pedal down and you get a little bit of that rebound rubber band type effect smart mode will shift you between like a normal and sport depending on how you're driving now it's in sport mode rpms will be up a little bit of pedal way down getting up to speed does take a minute but I've passed a couple of people on the highway and it's been okay it's just you got to plan it not going to be quite as punchy as the Sonata or some other compacts but still not much to complain about when you've got the miles per gallon like you do in the Elantra paired with the good space for the size of a car the good efficiency and ergonomics in here are good too. I can touch the screen. The screen's a little far away, but you got these shortcuts. Steering wheel controls work well. Overall, well-rounded car. Let's go ahead and wrap things up. So to wrap things up on this 2023 Hyundai Elantra, I like the fact that Hyundai gives us a good value car that still has decent space, a good amount of features, and a pretty good value with great efficiency in one package. So if you're looking for a compact car, you want a good commuter vehicle, you want something big enough to be able to put stuff in the trunk, maybe some kids or people in the back seat and have a fair amount of features and be nice, this Elantra really checks pretty much all those boxes. Let me know down below what you think and if you would buy this for your next compact car. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.